Hello and welcome to another exclusive vlog by me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where we just hit 63 million minutes viewed on YouTube. This week we're talking about Katie Hopkins and the prank that everybody is talking about, and we're asking the question, did she deserve it? Well, whether I'm a fan of Katie Hopkins or not is neither here nor there. Is Katie Hopkins a nice lady that says lovely things? Well, no, of course she isn't. Is she controversial and outrageous? Well, of course she is. Does she care what we think? Probably not. Here's my take as a PR man who does marketing for a living and is also the gamekeeper turned hunter in terms of being a journalist too and a talent who performs on stage. You cannot take praise and you cannot take criticism as gospel. You have to dispose of both, maybe listen to it, maybe consider it and then get rid of it. Because the trouble is everybody's got an opinion just like everybody's got an arsehole and most of them stink. The reality is Katie Hopkins is a lady who makes money through selling stories, through selling hate in some people's opinions, but in my opinion, just selling opinions, opinions that I probably don't agree with, by the way. I'm not defending Katie Hopkins. I'm trying to explain how she is operating her business, and it is a business, a business in diminishing decline, unfortunately, since losing her radio show on LBC, a column in the mail, and most of her other work too. She's now online, as am I, by the way, so I don't stand here looking down at her. We're on equal parallel in terms of our platform, not in terms of our opinion. You see, I can be shocking and outrageous when it comes to reviewing The Lion King in the West End. But as for Muslims, gays and women knowing their place, I try and keep my mouth shut. So it was interesting to see that somebody had gone to the effort to give this woman publicity, which they've done, to feed her fire, which they've done, and to make her more famous than she already is. In fact, you could argue this is a home goal. They paid for her to fly to Prague. They paid for her to have a three-course meal and expensive wine. And they gave her an award. Award. Not an award you'll think that I'm talking about, the award of publicity. I actually hadn't thought about Katie Hopkins in a long time. They've made me think about her again. So this is a home goal. If you don't like Piers Morgan, the worst thing you can do is tweet Piers Morgan to tell him because he'll be thrilled and probably retweet it and call you a twat. It's much the same with Katie Hopkins. If you indulge in her opinions and try and debate her, she will continue the mass debate all day long and thrive on every second of it. The other problem I had with this video was it's not really that funny. And what they do at the end where they montage all her quotes is worrying to me. Because when you're going to be so one-sided in damning someone with such humongous disdain, you have to be very careful that you don't ridicule your own credibility by proving that point. In other words, what I'm saying is the quotes at the end, were they taken out of context or did she say them as it sounded to us? I worry that she may have been quoting what people have said about her. I worry that they may have edited something she was saying someone else had said. Because they've not left us to judge for ourselves by having the full unedited piece. I'm left ambivalacious, as Victoria Wood would say, about the credibility of this piece. Now, I'm not doubting for one minute that Katie Hopkins said this stuff, but in what context is my question? And I beg of the people who put this together... It would give you more credibility if you release the unedited speech by Katie Hopkins. I worry that she's actually won in this. She's had a free holiday, a free meal, been given an award, and the infinite gift of publicity and more fuel on her fire. Something you have to be very careful to do with those you don't like and you don't agree with. Whether I like her or not is neither here nor there. Do I agree with most of her opinions? I do not. But then again, I don't spend my time thinking about her or worrying about her. I know what she's doing. She's doing what I did in phone in radio for 10 or 15 years, saying anything to get a reaction. And what these people have done is given her more publicity and more attention, which I know secretly she will love, a bit like Piers, a bit like Ricky Gervais. They're all the same. That's my opinion. Watch yours. Comment below, subscribe to the channel and share this video if you will. I'd be very grateful. And thank you so much for tuning in to Celebrity Radio. Ta-da.